This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the factors that affect the rate of reaction. The rate of a chemical reaction is affected by the following changes. So we have changes in temperature, changes in concentration, changes in particle size, and changes in pressure. The rate of a chemical reaction can also be affected by the use of a catalyst. Catalysts will be covered in the next video. We'll start by looking at changes in temperature. Increasing the temperature increases the rate of reaction. Here we have a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve for two samples of gas at different temperatures. The red arrow represents the activation energy for the reaction. The area in blue represents the number of particles that have energy equal to or greater than the activation energy at 300 Kelvin. The shaded area represents the number of particles with energy equal to or greater than the activation energy at 310 Kelvin. At the higher temperature, we can see that a greater proportion of reactant particles have energy equal to or greater than the activation energy. Therefore, at higher temperatures, the rate of reaction increases. So increasing the temperature increases the average kinetic energy of the particles. The frequency of collisions between reactant particles also increases. And there is an increase in the proportion of particles that have energy equal to or greater than the activation energy. For these three reasons, an increase in temperature increases the rate of reaction. Next, we look at changes in concentration. Increasing the concentration of reactants increases the rate of reaction. Here we have two solutions with the higher concentration solution on the left and the lower concentration solution on the right. The rate of reaction will be faster with a solution with a higher concentration. And the reason for this is that increasing the concentration of the reactants increases the frequency of collisions between reactant particles. The greater the concentration of reactant particles in solution, the higher the chance of a successful collision leading to a chemical reaction. Next we look at changes in surface area. As particle size decreases, the rate of reaction increases. As we can see in this diagram, as the particle size decreases, the rate of reaction increases. Large pieces react slowly and powders react very fast. And the reason for this is that as particle size decreases, the surface area per unit volume increases, which results in an increase in the frequency of collisions between reactant particles. So large pieces have a small surface area per unit volume and powders have a very large surface area per unit volume. This explains why powders react much faster than large pieces. And finally, we have changes in pressure. For reactions that involve gases, increasing the pressure increases the rate of reaction. At higher pressures, the gas is compressed which has the effect of increasing its concentration. Here we can see two samples of gas. The sample on the left is at low pressure. The sample on the right is at higher pressure. The rate of reaction will be faster in the gas under higher pressure. So increasing the pressure results in an increase in the frequency of collisions between reactant particles. And an increase in the rate of reaction. So let's end with a summary. In this table, we have the change in the factor and its effect on collision frequency and rate of reaction. An increase in temperature results in an increase in the collision frequency and the rate of reaction. A decrease in temperature results in a decrease in the collision frequency and the decrease in the rate of reaction. Increasing concentration or pressure for gaseous reactions results in an increase in collision frequency and an increase in the rate of reaction. A decrease in concentration or pressure for gaseous reactions results in a decrease in collision frequency and the rate of reaction. Increasing particle size results in a decrease in the collision frequency and a decrease in the rate of reaction. And finally, decreasing the particle size results in an increase in collision frequency and an increase in the rate of reaction.